welcome to this class in this video we are going to learn about the lamiaceae family lamiaceae it is popularly known as the mint family lamiaceae family it is otherwise called as labiate family lamia name is latin name which means gullet lamia means gullet the shape of the corolla tube is like gullet the family having 260 genera and 3200 species it is worldwide distributed the members of this family are found both tropical and temperate regions in india it is represented by 400 species systematic position of this lamiaceae family class dicotyledons subclass gamopetalae series bicorpulate order lamiales and family lamiaceae coming to the vegetative characters of the family habit in this family species are aromatic herbs like salvia and lamium some of the species of this family are shrubs like rosemarinus Leonotis and Pogostemon. Rarely the family species having tree habit. It is found in the Brazilian genus Hyptis. Some of the species are climbing habit. Often aromatic with ethereal oil. Next one, root pot. Root is taproot system this family root system is taproot system because it is dicotyledons the root having branches so it is branched rarely advantageous roots present in some species like mentha advantageous root means it arises from the stem or leaves of the plants which are shallow and growth can be either aerial or underground which is known as advantageous root coming to the vegetative character stem stem is aerial that mean stem is generally aerial that is exposure to external above the ground and herbaceous its stem is green color that plants are soft and flexible there is no woody stem rarely woody stem present in this family stem is erect it grows straight stem is growing upright condition rarely prostrate stem is quadrilateral that mean four sided stem present in this family which are four sided stem present in this family stem having hairy like spot and having it having branches so it is branched stem is solid or fistula it is the solid or fistula solid means stem is not hollow at internode which is known as solid if the internodes of the plant are hollow that is called as fistula sometimes underground suckers present in mint species next coming to the vegetative part leaves leaves are opposite 
that mean two leaves arise from the stem at the same node once again i will repeat two leaves arise from the stem at the same node that is opposite regular condition the leaves are simple rarely pinnately or palmately compound leaves are petiolate leaves are petiolate or sessile having a stalk or petiole which is the having stalk or petiole that is petiolate are absent that is extipulate that means stipules are absent there is no leaf stalk leaf stalk is absent or stipules are absent leaves having hairy with aromatic smell and entire leaves are entire that means the leaves are smooth margin there is no any ridges and burrs and reticulate venation there is reticulate venation are there next coming to the floral characters inflorescence inflorescence is the first one of the floral characters very commonly wet cluster inflorescence present in this family species it consisting of a pair of condensed ligasil cyma the each node rarely solitary in scutellaria species mostly in the inflorescence wet cluster that means each node of the stem two axillary opposite cymos inflorescences develop on either side this is it mean at each node of the stem two axillary opposite cymos inflorescences develop on either side the solitary inflorescence present in this some species like uh, scutellaria next coming to the floral part flower pedicellate that mean a flower with a stalk which flower having a stalk it's known as pedicellate are absent or sessile and bracteate it having bract it having bract e bracteate in salvia species and bracteolate complete condition all wells are present corella and rosium and gynecium four wells are present in commonly flower contains four wells here also complete condition four wells are present flower is zygomorphic rarely actinomorphic condition mostly having zygomorphic condition that means having floral pods that is unequal size that is unequal size or form so that the flower is capable of division into essentially symmetrical house by only one longitudinal plane 
passing through the axis that is zygomorphic this species having actinomorphic condition in mentha species flower is hermaphrodite are bisexual that mean androsium and gynesium present in the same flower both reproductive organ present in the same flower such kind of flower called as hermaphrodite rarely unisexual thymus species nepeta species their flower is unisexual condition and bilabiate that means corolla with limb divided into two leaves the above picture on right side bilabiate condition that is and with the limb they divided into two leaves upper and lower lips we call as bilabiate yes. o oh, gynes that mean hypogynes mean perianth and stamens are attached to the receptacle below the gynesium perianth means it consists calyx and corolla perianth and stamens are attached to the receptacle below the gynesium it is known as hypogynes into the calyx pot calyx is the outermost wall of the flower made up of sepals it product the other whorls sepals are five they are united condition sepals are united or fused so gamo sepals condition in salvia and thymus species resistant condition the species having the valvid condition that mean arrangement of sepals in a flower meet at their edges and do not overlap condition the valvet arrangement of sepals in a flower bud that pods meet at their edges and do not overlap known as valvet estuation or imbricate imbricate mean where the overlap condition this is to vision described as imbricate is to vision calyx is present the arrangement of sepals may be 1 by 4 as in asmin species or 2 by 3 as in calamithia species corolla it is present inside of the calyx and made up of petals it attracts insect for pollination petals generally five here two loops are up and three loops down here also they are fused or united so it is gamopetalous 
a four labbed corolla arises due to the fusion of two upper teeth. Repeat condition is found in the arrangement of the petals, maybe gamma petalus 2 by 3. The example two petals in the posterior upper leaf and three in the anterior lower leaf. Salvia, Nepeta, and Leucus species have in this upper and lower leaf condition or posterior and anterior condition. It is male reproductive organ. Stamens are four. And two is short. That means anther is attached with the petals of the flower. Epipetals mean anther is attached with the petals of the flower. Here, posterior stamen is reduced or represented by a stamen node. Stamen node means abortive stamen, which means that is does not produce pollen or stamen like occurring at the inner well of the flower that is known as stamen node in calamanthia species two perfect stamens having that uh, part of andesium and two are imperfect and the fifth reduced in salvia species two stamens are anterior side up side attached by peculiarly long connectives which help in insect pollination dorsi fixed condition unilocular or bilocular locules are one are two that mean releasing the pollen towards the center of the flower that is known as intrus and di diathecus each anther has two lobes each anther has two lobes connected tissue that is diathecus Flumbent is attached with the base of the anther. We now we call as base fixed. Most of the family species having base fixed condition. In this family species having dorsi fixed condition. and tetrasporangite containing chamber that has four shake pollen containing chamber that has four shake it known as tetrasporangite anther reproductive organ or pistil here carpels are two so bicarpillary here is free condition, there is no fused or unitured condition, so it is syncorpus, unitured or fused. And superior, hypogynous, and bilocular becomes tetralocular by the formation of pole symptom, mostly bilocular condition present in this dynasty part but tetralocular condition formed by the false septum here axial presentation that means number of corpels 
present in the gynecium infused with margin and grow to unit at the entire place or center place that is placentation formed such placentation we call as axial placentation once again i will repeat number of corpuscles present in the gynecium infused with margin and grow to unit of central place that is placenta formed such placentation we know as axial placentation style it is gynoplasty condition that means arising with arising from the base of the ovary style is arising from cavity in the center of the ovary stigma a bilobed condition you can understand see the left side picture see the picture c stigma that is bilobed condition coming to the fruit usually size of carpic atlets seeds are non endospermic pollinated by endomorphous ovary is converted into fruit after the pollination mostly pollination pollinated by the endomorphous